Hey, what's up guys? Your man here, Monster Gadgets. I hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you might be. Thank you so much for joining me. Today's video, we're going to be unboxing a battery charging kit by Vimco for the DJI Osmo Action. Now, this device is capable of charging three batteries at one time, two batteries that are included, and one battery that comes with the DJI Osmo Action. So, we're going to go ahead and box it, and I'm going to kind of show you how this works. In full disclosure, this is a sponsored video by Vimco, so let's go ahead and get into it. Alright, so let's go ahead and unbox this. When you first get it, it comes in a plain brown box like this. And uh, let's go ahead and open it. This is a warranty card, some type of offer for a free gift. We've got a USB type C cable. case with a battery in it, that's nice. So once it's charged, you can actually put this in here. And it's actually got a little spot to put your uh, SD card in it as well. That's kind of nice. Same thing with this one. Now these are 1300 milliamp batteries. And so, which is equivalent to the original DJI Asmo action battery that you get with the actual camera that's also 1500 milliamp so that's kind of nice it's equivalent to that and then here is the charger itself pretty lightweight it's got slots for three separate batteries. Got their company name in the front. It says when power connected, the power indicator blue light is on. When unloaded and fully charged, all green indicators lights show green. When in charging, the corresponding indicator shows red light. So these kind of uh, sit in here like this. And then for the sake of, here's what it looks like with two batteries in it. But before I even plug this in to see what it looks like, the USB connects in the back. I got a USB type C. I'm curious to see how these batteries actually fit into the DJI Osmo Action. So here's the camera itself, here's the DJI Osmo Action. And the battery of course is underneath it. So we'll go ahead and uh, take the original battery out by unlocking it, pops out. Here's the, the original battery. And let's go ahead and put this in here to see as well. And here is the generic battery. Let's go ahead and put this in the DJI Osmo action. So you wanna align the pins nice clean fit so here's kind of what I'm concerned about can you guys see this tiny little gap right here with the original battery I didn't see that so let's pop this out and uh, put the original battery in here See the difference? A little bit more flush. So that is a bit concerning. Let's check the second battery to see what that looks like. It's in there. Same thing with this one. You can still see just a tiny bit of a gap right here in this crease. Otherwise, it's sitting flush. So 
So if you guys can see this, it's a, it's got like a little lip on the inside of it as well. So that does lock into place. Um, and on the inside of this thing, this is kind of what it looks like. So I'm wondering if it would be a problem just putting it in water and if it will still keep it fully waterproof. So if there's only one way to find out. Let's go ahead and uh, put it in water and test it. First power it on and make sure it actually works without the water. So it's 75% charge. Camera turns on. Great. All right, let's go put in water and see if uh, the water goes through or not. All right, so here we are. I've got a, a bowl of water and uh, I still have the generic battery on here. And as you guys can see, there's still that little bit of a, a little bit of that creased crack. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and uh, let's put this camera in here and see what happens to it. I hope it doesn't break my camera. Let's try, let's find out, I guess. Still on. All right. Let's try this off a little bit before I open it to see if any water actually leaks out. That way we'll have uh, a clear picture of uh, what... All right, now it's off. Okay, now it's completely dry. Let's go ahead and pop this battery open. And is there any water inside? No, completely dry. Aha, take a look at that. There is a speck of water right there. So, would I trust this with my camera diving into a lake, ocean, someplace like that, or a pool? I don't think so. Um, so this is unfortunately a fail. I think if I would have left it in there longer, that water could have probably come down to the battery area. So Vimco, I know you sponsored this video. Unfortunately, this is a fail. This is not something that I would recommend for my users, and you guys have seen exactly why. So if you're looking to buy this battery, do not buy it. The charger itself might work well, but the battery itself is uh, seems to be a bit flawed from uh, the design on top here. So I know if you want to buy a uh, if you want to buy a charger from DJI directly, it's about sixty-five dollars. This on Amazon at the time of recording, it's about thirty bucks, so it's half the price. And um, yeah, I wouldn't risk my camera with this battery and. Unfortunately, again, I would not recommend it. So, Memco, sorry, this is a fail. And again, if you guys are looking to buy this product, I would not recommend it. And um, luckily, my camera didn't get more damaged because it only got water slightly on the inside. So, I guess in a way, if you're not using it for water, uh, if you're just using it for other sports and you want to use this as an outdoor thing, or you know, when you're using it in dry environments, then the battery will probably be okay. But the part that turns me off is, I guess, if they created this product to work for this camera in all situations, and if it's not going to work in water, um, I would question the quality altogether as far as it holding charge, um, and just over time, would it be the same quality? Probably not. So I guess regardless if you're using it in water or not, I personally would not recommend this product. So unfortunately, that's the route I have to go. I have to be honest with you guys, there's no point of me coming on, even if it's a sponsored video, to give you guys false information. So I risk my camera for you guys. Hopefully you now will not have to do it because now you know this is a fail item. So that's it. All right guys, there you have it. Now you've seen it in action and unfortunately it's a product that I cannot recommend. And if I'm reviewing a product or unboxing or testing a product for you guys, I will always give you my honest opinion regardless of if it's a sponsored video or not. Um, but that's why I'm here and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.